Great people, great people of Biafra, a new generation of Yoruba Oduduo. I salute you all. Freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. I am back again today. I would like to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening according to your time zone. This my message today is for the Biafra people and new generation of Yoruba Oduduwa. But before I will proceed, I would like to introduce myself to those that are seeing me for the first time. I say remain the Biafra child in watching like a Mazo Kichu. The general. I am from Ihala in Anambra. Anambra in Biafra land. I greet you all today in the name of Suko Kikabiyama. But I want you people to understand that my message today goes to those that find themselves in that contraption called Daminable Zoo. That only what can save people in that contraption is this disintegration. Only disintegration can solve the problem of that contraption called Daminable Zoo. I want you people to understand this. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be fear. You always stand resolute and formidable in front of your enemies. That is only what can give you what you want. And I always tell my people this, that freedom is being taken, it's not being given. You have to take your freedom by force. That is how those that have gotten their freedom, this is the way they get it. So we have to also apply the same if we want to achieve our goal. And what is that our goal? To restore Biafra. And you know about Odudua to restore Odudua nation. That is why I'm here today. I thank you all. But before I will proceed, I would like you to know this because I have two articles to treat today. I want the people of Biafra to understand this because it's very, very important that we have find ourselves in this mess today. And by the special grace of Chuko Kikabiam, we will overcome all because Biafra must come. Now pay attention to this. I want to say this, those that they are your problems, especially people find themselves in eastern part of that zoo called Nigeria, which is Biafra people. I want you people to know those that they are your problem. Who are your problems? And believe in me, they are really our problems. You know, sometimes I always tell my people the root of a problem so that our people will begin to search how to tackle the problem. I want you people to know today that what is happening in that contraption called Daminibu Zoo or what is happening to Biafran people is the representatives. I want you people to understand this. We keep on calling for an ease. But I want you people to understand that our people are the problem. Those people that we call representatives, those people we call our governors, they are the problem. And I will prove it beyond reasonable doubt so that you will understand that these people are our problem. And believe in me, we have to deal with them. I don't lie about what I'm saying. 
I always pray to go to carry my for heaven to fall. And I want you people to understand this that every governor in Biafra land they hate us so much and we have to deal with them and I want to show you people how your problem started and I want to tell you those are behind all this atrocity they are committing against the innocent people in that contraption called Daminibu Zoo Nigeria mostly people from Biafra land they are taking oil from our land all the whole mineral resources in that contraption come from our land but when you go to our land today everything is catastrophic have you ever asked yourself why the full is that are coming from Senegal beer the full is that are coming from Chad the full is that are coming from the jail we come in a land that they are not belong to. They are not the indigenous people of the land. But they have been taken over. They have been taken upper hand. Have you ever asked yourself the reason are they doing this? I want you to know this. They are using your own people as a willing tools. They have said it before and it keep on repeating itself that our people can never control anything that belongs to them and it's happening today and uh, we always pray to solve the problem and I'm going to tell you people what can solve the problem because I always say the truth always and down the consequences. It does not matter. I am already dead alive. I'm already dead man. That is something that I want you people to understand. If you are searching for me, if my vet can give me a food, that is good. We have lost a lot of people in this struggle called Biafra Restoration Project. They have been killing our people from 1945 up to date. When you go to Fulani land today, which is also land, they have more than seven terrorist groups in that contraption. Terrorizing everybody, killing every single day, killing every single day. As they were killing every day, they are getting paid on those killings. That is where we have found ourselves today. And some of people will also come and begin to say they are Nigerian. You see the problem of black people. We have to begin to reason and understand the way of life. I want you people to understand that life is precious. But in that contraption called Daminibu Zoo, animals are better than human. Because you know why? In that contraption, in that zoo called Nigeria, people don't have inability to reason. People don't think at all. People don't understand. They understand. They, they don't understand anything at all. That is why they will keep on killing. That is why they will keep on setting terrorist group. And those in government will keep on negotiating with the terrorists. And they will be killing the innocent people. Now you understand what I'm talking about. That only disintegration of that contraption called Daminibu Zoo, Nigeria. Disintegration is the solution. And I want you people to understand that on this quest of self-determination, we can never stop. We must fight to restore Biafra. There must be gun and bullet involved. 
of course, I'm saying things the way it is. I know that you will not like the way I'm saying it. I know that you will like me to use a political correctness. But like I said, I say things the way it is and down the consequences. It does not matter who it may concern. But we say the truth always. Because we believe it's only truth can set us free. My people, we have to buckle up our belt and do the needful by getting ourselves involved in whatever it may take for us to restore Biafra. I thank you, great people of Biafra, like I always said to my people, that the leadership that we have is intact. Our leadership is in intact. The the HOD Masichiki Dothin that is in charge today in this struggle that we are, Biafra struggle, is waxing good. And he's telling us things the way it's supposed to be. He said yesterday we should buckle our belts. And I do listen to him. It's a man that I love so much. And I will keep on loving him because he's there for us. But that's not the reason why I'm here. I'm here to tell you those that they are your problem. Especially Igbo speaking Biafra. I will show you those that they are your problem. And you have to do something about this. Most of them, they have already resigned them. Some of them, they are not governors again today. Some of them, they are, they are not holding any position. And I hope you people understand what I'm saying. Their police have reduced. The army that are guiding them have reduced. They are no more governors. They are no more representatives. They are now on their own. I want you people to understand this. That we have to always do the needful. Because Biafra must come in our time. We are not joking about restoration of Biafra. We are not coming here to play. But we are telling people how things goes. To restore Biafra, there must be guns and bullets. There is no two ways about it. Or do you think that I'm lying? I want you to go all over the world today. Those that are have getting their freedom, you must grab it. You must take it by force. By force, you will get your freedom. You think by sitting, negotiating, talking all sort of rubbish, how long are we going to sit? How long are we continuing negotiating? How long are we going to begin to preach for peace? How long? We must do the needful to restore our dignity and our motherland called Biafra. Because Biafra is the only hope we have today. Now I want you to show you some pictures. The beginning and the root of all this problem. So you will begin to understand those that don't want you to leave. Because there is those don't want that they don't want you to leave at all. They all because these people are beneficially of that contraption. I mean the resources of that coming from our land. That is the reason why they can never let go. That is the reason why they can never let go. That is the reason why they will keep on doing their best to make sure that Biafra never come. But we are going to do everything in our disposal to make sure that Biafra must come. I want you people to understand this and I don't joke about whenever I'm saying some things. I know it's very, very somehow when you hear things coming out from my mouth, you will say, 
and causing problem. But this is only solution to solve this problem. Great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, we have to go and grab our freedom. We must go and take our freedom by force and by fire. It does not matter how you take it, but it must be taken, not given. You must take it, not given. Because if you are waiting for Fulani and Alamajiri, if you are waiting for Fulani and Alamajiri to give you your freedom, you will wait till thy kingdom come. If you are waiting those idiots that they are your representatives to come and sit on a round table for them to give you your freedom, you will wait till thy kingdom come. <laughs> if you are waiting your governors to sit on a round table to talk about your freedom, you will wait till thy kingdom come. So we have to do the needful because freedom is ours. And we must fight for this freedom. We must fight for the freedom. That's no how you can get your freedom without fighting. I want you to check the record of those that have gotten their freedom today. Then you will begin to understand that freedom is taken by force. And we are ready to take the freedom by force. Regardless who it may concern. We don't care. You know why? We are the children of Chuku Kikabiyama. I don't know how to translate this. But you can get some people. They will translate it to you. Because it's a heaven language. That is what we speak. Chuku Kikabiyama. Who reside in heaven. Who created everything on this planet Earth. And nobody created him. Now I want you to pay attention very well. So you will begin to understand every single thing that I'm saying and we must do the, do the need for like I said most of them today are they are on their own most of them today they are on their own let us see this picture that I want to show you here you see those people that you see today you see those people I have now on my screen I want you to know that these people are your problem. I want you to know that these people are the reason why you never get your freedom. I know that we are calling Fulanis. We are calling Fulanis. But there's something behind that Fulanis. Our people are those that allow the Fulanis to invade our land. People allow the foreigners to come into our land. People that allow foreigners to occupy our land. Who are those people? This is the people I'm showing you now on the screen. We have to do the needful and down the consequences. Foreigners hate them all, as they also hate hated us. I want you people to see this. The first man that you're seeing on my left side, on the right, I don't know how the screen is, which is John Onyangwodo. John Onyangwodo is the biggest problem we have in Biafra land. John Onyangwodo is one of the root of this problem that we are facing today. John Onyawodo have gone mute. John Onyawodo is nowhere to be found. But we must look for these people. We must find them. We must search for them. John Onyawodo today he is on his own. Of course, they have run away from the land of Biafra. They are living today in Fulani land. From there, they are, they are ruling the people in eastern region of that contraption called Damini Bufu. These people are shameful. These people are so, I don't know what to call them. 
see John only a road. John only a road of father was a sabo. John only a road of father was do one of those that sold our struggle during our internal leader, Dean Obinage Wojuku. May he so rest in peace. John only a road of father was one of those that sabotage Dean Obinage Wojuku. John only a road of father was one of those that are working with the full call Nigeria. John only a road of father during the war he occupying position in Nigerian territory. John only a road of father was against the restoration of Biafra during Dean Odumegu Ojuku, our eternal leader. And the same thing comes to John only a road of himself. John Onyawodo is one of the biggest problems we have in Piafra. When John Onyawodo busy looking for Fulanese, kneeling to the Fulanese to make him a president 2023, they were there dividing us and willing us. John Onyawodo did not say anything. I want you people to go and ask John Onyawodo after the war. 1967 to 1970 because everything i'm saying is a fact you can ask john he will tell you what his father did during the war and after the war i know it will surprise you all but though it's out in the public domain go and search for it or you ask john he will explain to you what i'm saying during the war 1967 to 1970, as the war we are going on, John Omiyawu, the father, busy working with the full call Nigeria, sending his son to oversee to go and school. After the end of the war, John Omiyawu, the father, money that he saved during the war. The Sioux call Nigeria give John Onyawo the father his money back. They did not touch his money. All the whole money that John Onyawo the father saved during that his tenure working with the Sioux call Nigeria, all the whole money was given to John Onyawo the father. And they are, on top of it, they also received a compensation because that money was multiplying. They give all the whole money to John Onyawo, the father. John Onyawo, they use part of the money to send his first son to Europe, which is England, to go and study. After the end of the war, all the whole rich people, being you rich, being you billionaire, being you trillionaire, you're only going to receive only 20 pounds. John Onyawodo father received all his own money. John Onyawodo, his father was not part of those that received 20 pounds. And John Onyawodo, he will tell you this thing I'm saying. Go and ask John Onyawodo. He will exactly tell you what I'm talking about. That after the end of the war, that people were receiving 20 pounds. John Onyawodo father received all his own money. Every money of John Onyawodo was in intact. John Onyawodo sent his son to, 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 to England to go and study. John Onyawodo, first son, or John Onyawodo, father, sent his first son to England, and his first son also bought a house in England. And that all this man saying is also during the war. Now you understand what I'm saying. I want you people to understand that John Onyawodo is one of those that sold us to Fulani. I don't lie about what I'm saying. John Onyawodo is one of the biggest evil we have in Biafra land. John Onyawodo is a traitor to Biafra people, Ino people in particular. John Onyawodo is a traitor. John Onyawodo is evil. 
John only I would say sabo I will you see I say things the way it is and I if, if you doubt me go and ask John only I would he will tell you exactly this because you understand very well I want you people to understand till we done or we deal with these people but believe in me we have to deal with these people I'm just telling you the preamble of John Unyawodo but today John Unyawodo is nowhere to be found ask yourself where is John Unyawodo all of them is looking for 2023 presidency why they are killing their own people John Unyawodo is the one also sabotage our leader Mazen Namdekano. You see what I just said before was during the time of John Unyawo the father. John Unyawo the father was one of those that sabotage the Biafra restoration during our internal leader Dilim Odume Wojuku. John Unyawo the father by then. And this time around, John Onyawodo had picking up from where his father stopped. John Onyawodo is the one in particular sabotage the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. John Onyawodo is working so hard for them to destroy our leader. John Onyawodo is evil. John Onyawodo is going every day in Fulani land, kneeling down to Fulani people. They are there ruffling his ass. I don't lie about what I'm saying because this is the oath they always took so that they will always pay their royalty to the Fulani Caliphate. All of them from beginning to the end, they always ruffle their ass. Because that is the oath they have been giving to them. Any day they want to jump out, they will bring their naked of your own outside. I don't know how to translate that in English, but as people, he can say they will wrestle it. I want you people to understand what I'm saying. I say things the way it is. I am not coming to use political correctness. We have passed beyond that. We have we don't talk about something like that. We tell people what is going on. Ask yourself where John Onyawodo today. John Onyawodo is one of those that went to call full and name. John Onyawodo is the one that set up or Python that's one. John Onyawodo is the one that called Python that's two. John Onyawodo. John Onyawodo is the one that called what happened in Afarugui Beko that we lost 28 men and those that we find their bodies in the bushes and forests when they were running to escape for their life unfortunate they died all this issue caused by john only i don't lie about what i'm saying we have every record that is why i say things the way it is We have said it time with that number. You will serve the zoo and you will come back in shame. You will serve the zoo and definitely you will come back in shame. All of them, they are crying today. They are begging for Lani to give them presidency. All of them, they were begging. John Onyawodo is begging for Lani to give him a presidency. They who might today is nowhere to be found. They who might is crying every day. Therefore, his that one is the he's jumping around everywhere, crying. We told them, suffer and definitely you will come back in shame. Go and suffer and suffer and is they will wrestle your ass. At the end, you will come back in shame. At the end, you will begin to cry. Therefore, he is crying today. After 
after everything that he have done against his own people, thinking that the Fulanese will love him. That is what they are always think. That a people that they are not indigenous of the contraption called Tabinibusu are coming from Senegambia to rule you. They are coming from Chad to rule you. So why, what makes you a man? These people you see here on my screen, these people don't have balls. They don't even have gods. They are people that don't even have a world of their own. That is exactly what Fulani told them. Amadou Bello, he said, the new generation, the new Nigeria that we are creating is going to be our great grandfather island. They can never have a world of their own. You understand what I'm talking about? They are not going to control their life. They are not going to control their resources. They will always put problem within them. They will always put fight within them. That is why today when you go, especially in Igbo speaking Biafra, none of the governors, they are not in good time. They always fight each other. That is the takir that Fulani is using on them. But we have come to know all this. We understood perfect what they are planning. But believe in me, you see these people we are seeing here, they are your problem. I want to tell you today that these people are your problem. John Omiyawod is one of the biggest sabo. John Omiyawod is one of the those that sold our people, did, sold our leader Mazen Namdekan, John Omiyawod. Since the adoption of our leader, have you seen John Omiyawod speak? The answer is no. He never said anything. John Omiyawod was happy that they caught our leader. They kidnapped our leader. John Omiyawod is happy that everything is happening. Because John Omiyawod is the first person that invites Fulanese to come to our land to begin to dance Python. John Omiyawod. And I want you people to understand this. It started from his father. And now to John Onyangwood. Who knows the son of John Onyangwood what he would do? I stand cons. But by that time, we will deal with them. Biafra will come and we will chase all of them away. John Onyangwood is not a threat. But it's a promise that the way the, the name of Ifarjana is gone today, that is also how your name will be gone. Look at Uguanyam. There they are killing his own people. He's going to Fulani to kneel down. He's going to Yerima to kneel down to Yerima to beg Yerima. Dave Umayi is own is gone. Dave Umayi now begin to understand that you can never serve Fulani and come back in peace. When you serve them, definitely you will come back in pieces. That is why they are crying today. Every day you will see. Rulers will go out and lamenting, lamenting, telling us the history, telling us how Nigeria come in existence. But when he was a governor, he couldn't tell us all this. That to show you that if you suffer Fulani, definitely you will come back in pieces. That is not always about it. All of you people will see it. I want you people to keep on running to Fulani land. Go out to Abuja and live there forever. Because if we see you in our land, we will send you to Chukoki Kabiyama. All of them, they are living in Abuja. From Abuja, they are ruling our people in Biafra land. That is the mess that these people have putting themselves into. John Onyangwodo, where he's in today, nowhere to be found. John Onyangwodo, don't speak again. John Onyangwodo, go to our leader. Tell our leader to throw away the Biafran restoration project that he will bring us restructuring. Up to date, there is nowhere, nowhere is John Unyangwodo have run away. John Unyangwodo have been mute 
John Onyawudu now is not talking. John Onyawudu is hiding under the bed of his wife. That's where John Onyawudu is today. He can't even speak because the full army have muted him that he cannot talk again. So in case I did not show the whole pictures, I want you to also to bring some pictures because there are many those that that are stopping the Biafra restoration. And believe in me, we have to deal with these people. We have to deal with these people. Because if you allow them, if you allow them, I don't know. But Biafra must come in our time. That's not always about it. Now let me bring another picture to be in case they are all not in this picture because you will see them. Those that are putting you in mess. Those that don't want you to restore Biafra. Those that we have to deal with for Biafra to come. You see them here. You see them here. Our people, we are in trouble. As foreigners are busy planting their agent in our land. That is the takir that they are using against us. They are using against us. By using also our people against our people. Hope who Sodema in Imo State today is busy killing his own people. Hope who Sodema today in Imo Light is busy inviting foreigners, inviting mercenaries from Senegal gear. You know, what, something that our people have to understand that these people are not indigenous people. These people are not coming for that even though Nigeria. These people, they are not Aousa people. These people are people that are coming from Sahel as a mercenaries. They are paying them to come and take over Nigeria. And at the same time, they are using some of our people that they are willing to somebody like Hope Rosa Demma, Devo Mai Uguanya, and the whole Kai Kai in Anambra, the former governor of Anambra, they have used him. Today you will not see them again. And that is why I'm telling you, my people, their security have reduced. Isn't it? Or are they living in Abuja? Their security have reduced. I say things and down the consequences. Like I said to my people, I'm already dead. If you don't know now, you know. I am not afraid of dying. That is why I say things without political correctness. Their security have reduced. John on the world, where is him? Devil man is today crying. Now he begin to understand there is no judiciary in that contraption. Now he understand. Now Dave Umar, you understood. You see, when he was killing his own people, he don't even think about that. When the Fulanis are ruffling his ass, he don't even think about that. Because he thought that the Fulani will love him forever. He thought that Fulani will make him the senior boy boy forever. Because he don't know that things goes on. Every day there's a new changes. And you know the worst part of it, that those people we find in our land called Biafra, they always, you know, a competition. They always find themselves in that, I mean, to compete, who will be the highest, you know, sellout to Fulani, who will sell their own people most so that Fulani will love them and give them position. That is what we have found ourselves into. That they always make a competition. Who will kill their own people most? Who will sell their own people out most? Who will begin to point out to every houses 
I haven't forgotten the River State Governor. The River State Governor is there the one side killing our people. The people that the River State Governor have adopted Nelson Wike, our women that Nelson Wike have transferred to full and new land, they never return today. Our mothers, he kidnapped them. He sent them to Fulani. Where are they today? They are now there as a sex worker to Fulanis, to bandits in the forest. They are serving, servicing the Fulanis. The bandits, they are coming from Chad to occupy your land. This a week adopted our women and sent it to them. I want you people to understand the mess that we are in. That these people you are seeing, they are your problem. No, but one problem. Forget about the Fulani. Because they are the people that are telling Fulani to come. Ask yes a week. Where is our women that he adopted? All of them today, they never return. We don't know where they are. They are in the bush. Sabiza Forest. Servicing the bandits. Servicing the Boko Arams and the Mayati Allah. And because you want to be a president or you want to be a vice president, now you understand what I'm talking about. Those people that find themselves in Eastern region called Biafra, their governors are sellouts. They hate you more than you hate them. They hate you more than you think. More. I don't know how to put this. But I want you people to understand. Oh, Bruce Adima is killing our people, sharing food to our people, to get them involved, to track them and execute them. And you want me to come out here and begin to speak with political correctness. I don't do that. I want you people to see all these people that I have on the screen. They are your problem. And you have to deal with them. Like I said, freedom is not given, it's taken by force. You have to take your freedom by force. Now you understand what I'm talking about. That these people. evil we can never allow them to go score free we don't kill we don't kill but we will take them to Chukwuki Kabiyama Chukwuki Kabiyama will judge them according to the crime they have committed against their own people because we are asking for freedom the great people of Piafu now I want you people to also see this man, the one of the 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 twenty first century sabo, the twenty first century. This man have done a lot of evil. Ojuso Kalo, Ojuso Kalo, Ojuso Kalo is the one that went to prison to bribe our leader to abandon Biafra. To join them in their dirty politics, and our leader refused. Ojos of Carlo promised our leader, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Nambi Okukan. Ojos of Carlo promised him that he will give him heaven on earth, that he should forget about Biafra. He went to Kuge prison to visit him. But guess what? He failed woefully. All Jews of Kalu failed woefully. All Jews of Kalu is parading himself today, fighting for presidency. All of them from A to Z. The whole governors in Igbo, so called Igbo states, all of them, they are fighting for presidency. They are fighting for presidency. 
And who is going to give them that presidency? Fulani. Some of them have traveled to the land of Fulani, kneeling down, begging, calling Yerima Setiman, the peacemaker, that the power belongs to them. Like though, I want you people to understand this. We don't use political correctness. Power belongs to Fulani people. Fulani people owns Nigeria. Fulani people are the people that will say what will happen. There is no two ways about it. I am telling you the fact. Fulani owns Nigeria. Fulani says things, what goes. If Fulani said no, it's no. There is no doubt about what I'm saying. They control Nigeria. They control everything. Every high offices in that contraption controlled by Fulani. You may be their secretary. But you must answer sir to them. Even though they never go to school at all. Even though they what they are doing, they don't know it. They will hire you. You will be their secretary. You are the one that are going to be doing everything. But they are the people that are controlling. I want you people to understand this. Fulani owns Nigeria. Nigeria belongs to Fulani people. They say what goes there. Forget about all these people we have. All Jews of Kalu went to Afarukui Bek to also get the moral of our leader. But guess what? All Jews of Kalu failed woefully. All Jews of Kalu have is a man that have went to Fulani. They have given him a title. That is all Jews of Kalu for you. All Jews of Kalu are among those that going to Abuja to bring the federal to prescribe IPOB. Unfortunately, they made themselves on the road. All Jews of Kalu is part of those that sold our leader. All Jews of Kalu are part of those that brought Operation Python Dance 1, 2, 3, 4 to our land called Biafra. To destroy our properties, to destroy things that we have worked for, all Jews of Kalu was seen, and he's living large. We are not going to kill them. We will take them to Chukoki Kabiyama. Chukoki Kabiyama will judge them. Every single atrocity and evil they have committed against their own people, which is the Biafra people, the children of Chukoki Kabiyama. The light of the world, the rising sun. That is who we are. And now we keep on preaching this gospel of redemption and gospel of the truth. Because that is what we have been choosing. That is my part. I want you to know that all these people that I have showed you people here, they are all your problem. They are all your problems because we have to know who are our problems. We have to understand those that don't want us to leave. We have to understand those that are inviting Fulanis to come to our land. We are not talking about the Aosa people. We are talking about the mercenaries that are coming to occupy and kill our own people. These people you are seeing today, they are the people that are causing our problem. But like I said, we are not going to kill them. We will send them to Chukoki Kabiyama. And Chukoki Kabiyama will definitely judge them. Because we are not killer. We respect women. We hate seeing blood. We hate seeing blood. That is why we will send them to Chukoki Kabiyama. And Chukoki Kabiyama will definitely judge them according to their crime and evil they have done against their own people. That is why I'm telling you people, we are calling for learning, but we are also have to understand 
before Fulani came to your land or come to your land, there are some people inviting them to come. That is something that you have to know. Fulani are killing every single day, adopting people in our in our in our in our cities, doing all atrocities. But there is people that are inviting them to come. People invite them. Like I said, the, uh, John Niawood was one of the biggest winning tool of the Fulani Alamajiri in our land. John Niawood started from his father. He take over from his father. Like I said, he take over from his father. John Niawood is the highest threat to our people in Biafra land. John Oniawood said for you to kill a Fulani that is not an Indian, that is a missionary that they brought from other country to come just to occupy our space. John Oniawood said before you kill this man or you kill the lady or the man, anybody, terrorist is telling you before you kill this terrorist, you must kill him first. That to show you that the royalty to John Oniawood to Fulani can never stop. And John Oniawood is ready to kill anything killable to make sure he makes his masters happy, which is the Alamajri, to make Alamajris happy. That's what John Oniawood said. And I want you people to understand that I'm not lying about what I'm saying. That is John Oniawood for you. Dave Mahi is the recent one, but now they have failed him. He is crying now everywhere. Dave Mahi is crying. Definitely they must come back in shame. But I always want to pinpoint John Onyangudu because John Onyangudu is very big time evil. I want you people to understand that I don't lie about what I'm saying. This is the people that are killing you. The one that is taking over now is Hope Osadema. Hope Osadema is killing anything. And he's happy that he's killing his own people. At the same time, the foreigners are laughing at him, telling him your time is coming. We will also play you in football, as they have been doing to others. Hope Osadema will also soon lament. He must lament. As time comes, he must lament. Because this is their way. They will put a confusion among them. They will begin to fight each other. Now do you understand the Takia of Fulani people? Fulani people use Takia in everything they are doing. And our people never come to understand the Takia that Fulani Ayamajiris are using on them. Caliphs are using on them. They don't even understand and you are telling me that these people are our people like i said we don't kill we don't love seeing blood but Shuko Kikabiyama will definitely deal with them i'm just pointing out those that they are your problem this is are your problems as you see as they are as the individual as they are they are your problems Yes, Onike is one of the problem. Like I said, ask Senko, yes, Onike, where is our mothers, our sisters that he adopted? He went to their houses and picked them one after the other. And now he has sent them to Sambisa Forest. He, give, he have given our sisters to Fulani as a sex worker to satisfy those that are coming also to kill us. After they will kill us, finish. They will go back and begin to deal with our sisters. That is where this Omiki had put in himself. Because you know what? He won a presidency. Everybody won a presidency. Everybody, every one of them, they want to become a president. And what is there about this president? To also fight themselves. To fight themselves. 
maybe by then they will begin to fight. I don't love this man. Let me re let me remove him. They will not fight the Fulani, so they will not fight Alamajiris. They will come back and begin to fight themselves. Now all of them are begging. All of them are kneeling to Alamajiris. Alamajiris. That is who they are begging to give them a presidency. What belongs to them? Now they are begging for it. <laughs> that is why sometimes I I I I wonder who did this to us. Something that is belongs to you, something that is your own. You are now begging for it. Do you see how cowardice our people is? Do you see how idiocy is running inside our people's mind? Those governors and representatives we have in Biafra land. Now you see how cowardice they are. They don't even reason. They don't even think at all because of political ambition to become a president or vice. They are using this opportunity to kill their own people. To show their royalty to Alamaj race. Those are rolling on the street like idiots. My great people. It's a pity. And it's very, very bad that our governors and representatives don't even have goals or balls to challenge their opponents. They are weak. All of them are weak. They are not man at all. That is why I say they are weak. It's a pity that we find ourselves here. It's a pity we find ourselves here. Otros Okalo is one side doing the best to become a governor or to become a president. Because in that contraption, there is nothing like president. There is nothing. Even though this idiot called Otros Okalo, this Onala called Otros Okalo, even though he become a president tomorrow. That is why I said, it's not a president. He will be a presidency. Because he don't have a world of his own. Oburahamu at all. They don't have a world of their own. They don't have a world of their own. They don't have a world of their own. That is why I keep on asking, then what makes you a man if you don't have a world of your own? They will put you as a presidency Why people will begin to control you. Only what our people want, those people that they find themselves in Biafra land, that are fighting for president today, only what they are fighting for, only that name called president. They don't care who is going to control them. They don't care. They just want to answer the name and deal with their own people. Now you understand what I'm talking about. They just want to deal with their own people. Answer the name president, I have been was a president. That is what Elgin Zokan is looking for. That is what Dave Uman is looking for. I am was a president of Zuko, Nigeria. John only that is the same thing he's looking for. River State Governor. He just want to be one time president of the Zoom call Nigeria. That is what all of them they are looking for. They don't care if they control them or not. That is how idiocy our people, the representative are. The idiocy in them can't even allow them to reason again because they are fighting each other. They want to show who have the capacity most I want full and is Alamajri to love me most I want the Alamajri to make me the, the head of the governors in the eastern region I want them to make me you know the highest ranker in eastern region that is what these people are there for they don't care because they have so their soul they have sold it out. They are under oath. They can never go back. They have all their pictures. 
when they were raffling them, they have all their pictures. Go and ask Aboga Hosa. He will tell you this I'm talking about. Ask John Ndiangodo. He will tell you they have his picture. Ask Ojo Zokalo their picture. Go and ask Tambuwa. Go and ask Tambuwa. The picture of a river state governor. Go and ask Tambuwa. Tambuwa will give you the naked of this idiot in river state. That's a wicked. Ask Tambua, Tambua will give you the picture, the naked picture of Nelson Wiki when he was wrestling Nelson Wiki. I don't lie about what I'm saying. That is why today all of them they are mute. They just want to become a presidency, not president, presidency, to begin to control their own people, kill their own people. You see where we are find ourselves. It's obvious that most of our people, even the youths, don't even see this. You will see all Jews or Carlo that they give money to build our road. All Jews or Carlo, not all Jews or Carlo, I mean to say, um, the other man, the man that we deal with in Germany. He gave with a mother, I mean to say. He gave with a mother is also your problem. One of the biggest problems we have, they gave money to build our road. Our road. He gave with a mother, shocking the money. He stole the money. And people are seeing Ike Kweremado as a good person, as a good leader, as an elderly statement upon saying they have stolen from you. Everywhere you go, you see pothole. And sometimes you will be calling witches and wizards. You don't even know that Ike Kweremado himself is a witch that wants you to die in a pothole. Because the money they gave to him to build the road, he has chucked it. He stole it from you. And tomorrow, you will be telling me that the Cape Bremer is a good person. You see where we have found ourselves. You don't ask people how they made their money. What you have come in conclusion is a rich person. It's a wealthy man. I want to go to him so that you will find me something. But you have forgotten that it's your own money, that this man the money that they gave to him, your own money, your tax return, your work, your, your, your tax that you have paid. This man shocking it and put it to his pocket. Only him with his family. And people are dying every day. And when you are traveling, you will begin to pray for God to save you people or to give you people a safe journey. And you don't know that death is waiting for you because there's put all everywhere. Now you understand what I'm talking about. We have to deal with them. That is your own, that is our problem. They are our problems. I don't lie. Because it's real, it's real. We are not going to kill them like I said, because we are not killers. I keep on repeating this. I know the why I'm saying this. So whenever you want to quote me, you quote me right. We are not killers. We don't love to kill. We don't love seeing blood. But definitely we must take them to Chukwoki Kabiyama. Okike must judge them. Tamono must judge them. Olisa must judge them. Because these people have killed their own people enough. And their children, they are roaming around, enjoying, eating, drinking and dancing every single day. Hailing their father. Because their father have made a lot of money for them. He kept, he kept it for them on, in the bank. But are they going to eat that money? Ask yourself that question. Chukwokike will destroy all of them all. When people of Biafra freedom fight is lovers of freedom. Now you begin to know who are your enemies. To be case, if you never think or talk about all these people, I want you to know that all these people that I have shown here are the people holding your freedom. This is the people that are holding your freedom. This is the people that are holding your freedom. This is the people that don't want you to live. This is the people that don't want you to have your freedom. This is the people that are will keep on putting our people in a problem by inviting people that they are not even the citizen of that contraption to come and kill you and destroy you destroy your property 
at the end they will take over your land now you understand what i'm talking about thank you great people of being for freedom fight is love us so freedom my great people all over the world i still remain the being for child watching like a mass okay like i said this message today is for being for people and you about to do what now pay attention i have a message for chief sunday Ibuho. i have a message for him and i know that this is my message you must get to him you will get to him i trust people they will push the message to get to him sunday Ibuho, i respect you and i like your way i like your agitation and i love your ideology by pushing this ideology to Yoruba people for them to understand that only this integration is what can solve the problem in that contraption because first someday you have to understand that we are not one people Sunday Ibuho, Chief Sunday Ibuho, you understood very well that we are not one people. You are full and are not. And Sunday Ibuho, I want you to also remember that full and have taken part of some Yorubas. And you have to go and take it back. You have to take that land back because that land belongs to Yoruba people, not full and I want you to understand if you haven't forgotten i know you are not, you are a, you are a well learned person you understand things the way he runs that is why you bring yourself out to fight for your battle to do one to bring them out from that evil land called called uh called nigeria because we are france we are going there's no two ways about it i want you to understand this Chief Sunday Ibuho, that now they have freed you. My advice to you is this don't relent at all. I know a lot of people will come to you and begin to tell you, now you are a free man. Forget about your battle to do what? Go and live a good life before they will kill you young. That is a war of deceit they will deceive you a lot of people will come and begin to tell you nonsense because these people don't have goals and balls to defend their own land Sunday you will hold, don't listen to anybody that is my advice to you now you are out i want you to get yourself and start where you start don't relent at all don't let them bring you down don't let them stop you agitating for your about a nation because if you fail your people have failed you just allow your people to be slaughtered and i know that you will never allow your bad old to be killed just that is why chief adeyemo sunday Iboho orisha i salute you alaba i greet you and i salute your courage by standing with Yoruba Odudua, by teaching them this ideology that Yoruba nation must be free, Odudua must be free. And I keep on telling you, ringing it on your bell, on your ear, that you should stand. Don't relent at all. Don't listen to, to, to the politi uh, politicians because they will come. They will like to tell you some sweet words. They will offer you money properties they will even tell you they will build that your house that they burn down they will build it for you times 20. now ask them those that they killed in your house are they going to bring them back that is the question that you have to ask them chief are they among sunday Ibo? Alaba. that is the question we ask them those they killed in your house are they going to bring them back that is only key that you take hold them and all of them will run away and you will continue your freedom fighting because we are in a mission i love new generation of old to do because they are good to go 
they are ready to restore their land called Obidua Nation. Now you understand what I'm saying. Chief Sunday, Adeyemon Ibo, a great man, indeed you are, because it's not easy for somebody to just begin to fight for humanity. To fight for humanity is something that they don't pay you. You will just one day wake up. The things that you are worshipping will tell you to get up and begin to fight. And that is exactly what you did. And we love it. And I want you never to back up. It does not matter you have been in prison. It does not matter they hold you. And now they have released you. Don't let them. Don't let them stop you. Don't let them weigh you down. Don't even you think about that. I have given you the key point. What you will use to hold them whenever it comes to you. Because definitely they will come to deceive you, to tell you to stop. That Nigeria can work. Tell them Nigeria can never work and it's not going to work. This integration is the solution. Like I said, always know this, that we are not one people. Second, they have taken some part of Yoruba people, land, and you, Chief Sunday Adeyemo Ibo, you are the right person to bring back the land of, the land of Yoruba they have taken from you. You are the right person to bring it back. Nobody else apart from you, Chief Sunday Adeyemo Ibo. I want you to know this. Like I said, they will come for you. They will come for you to bribe you, to tell you, even though they may tell you that they can make you a governor. You know, full of people, they always use stack here. They may tell you they will make you the, 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 the head of the whole governors in Yoruba land. They may even promise you a president in 2100. That is the Takias of Fulani people. I want you, you don't, shouldn't you pay any attention to these people? Don't you pay attention to them? They will tell you they will buy you a house, go to Europe and point her hand to any house you feel like of your choice. Sunday chief you will ask them that place they are telling you to go and point hand that they will buy you a house ask them is it a Yoruba land or a land that people have already built they want to send you they are using this opportunity to send you away from that contraption for you to stop fighting for Yoruba mission to come they will tell you go to Dubai and point hand they will buy it for you ask them why can't they use that money to build that contraption? They will not. They only find a way to shut you up. That's where they will continue. But you will continue resisting them, resisting them. You will continue resisting them. Because you are chief. You come to fight for humanity. What you are fighting for is not something that they are paying people for. Is something that come out from your mind and your heart to fight for your own people. Okay? Chief Sunday at the Emo Ibo. Like I said, I respect you and I respect your courage. I respect your agitation and I respect your ideology that you are pushing into the new generation of Yoruba Odudua. And I want you to continue. Don't even look back at all. Don't listen to any politician. Don't listen to any fallen alamajiri. It does not matter how you free. It does not matter how you free. How they release you. Because that is also things that will begin to tell you. You remember how we free you. Don't mind them. They are coming to deceive. Tell them those people that they kill in your house. Are they going to bring them back? That is the question you're going to ask them. I greet you, great people of Biafra, a new generation of Yoruba Odudua. And I know that this is my message we must definitely get to Chief Sunday Adeyemo Ibo. And he will listen to this. And he will find 
a very encouraging word on this message that I'm giving to him. I know some people will be thinking, who are me to give a message? Of course, message is being given to anybody, regardless the capacity or the level of the person. It does not mass matter. Message is a message. Sunday, she Sunday at the demo, I want you to continue. Just get yourself together and start where you stop. Don't even look back at all. Continue. Watch more. I want to tell you, now you have been in prison and come out and you start where you stopped. You will gain more, more momentum. You will get more sympathizer that will support you because they know that you really understand what is freedom fighting. That is why you don't have to back up. People will support you more. Yoruba Odudua will join you more. That now we believe you because it's very, very important that we let people understand what is freedom fighting. I love you. I don't lie about what I'm saying because of the ideology that you brought to Yoruba people because I am a freedom fighter. That is why I love every freedom fighters. Every freedom fighter from beginning to the end. I love them all. That is also the way I love you. I love my leader also. Everybody that is fighting for freedom, I love them. Every freedom fighter all over the world, I love them. And I want you to continue someday, Bo. Don't stop. Don't look back at all. Because at the end, you will achieve your goal. I want to find your goal. Yoruba nation. Odudu a nation. Odudu a nation. You must come. And believe in me, we are in good terms to go, to work Africa, to grow Africa. If we can disintegrate that contraption and come together and everybody on it is on their own and people like Yoruba Odudua and Biafra people work together, join our brother from Abazonia, Africa will grow so big. We will stop sending our people to exile. We will stop sending our people to go other land, to Medi Mediterranean Sea, to desert. People are dying every day because we are looking for a better life. And everything that we need to make our life better is in Africa. They are pushing it out to Europe. Go and see the GDP of the world. Most of the resources of the world is coming from Africa. And why are we poor? Mazi, I'll put you Mazi because in my language, uh, I think uh, Alaba means Mazi. So if I call you Mazi, it's a respect. And I know that Alaba in Yoruba land means also respect. Chief Sunday, Boho Alaba. I thank you. Now you are free, man. Get yourself together and start where you stop. Don't even think about it at all. Continue, and Yoruba will come. Odudua will come. As Biafra will definitely come. Biafra will come. And we will enjoy an end. I salute you. Great people of Biafra, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, and Yoruba Odudua. I salute you all. I want this message to get to send day. Adeyamo Ibohu. And he will understand my message. I greet you all. Till we see again. My great people. Bye.